I've been trying to make this happen for almost two years at this point, like just a single interview. What is going on? I haven't vlogged in a hot minute. It's been a little while. I have also not been to America in a hot minute, about a year and a half. So I am in San Diego, California right now, resuming production on the Angels and Airwaves documentary, and it feels good. figured I would update you today and uh, take you along on the master interviews that we're setting up right now. There's one thing that I wanted to start things off with because it's cla classic Pete, that's what you'll say. Classic Pete, I drove in and saw this. Extremely pumped on that F-250, I believe it is. I don't know what year, but it's old. Had a little smile, made me happy. This is Ben Hess's vehicle fully packed to the gills with light stands and mini max stands and flags and floppies and sandbags and tripods and cameras and lenses and pelicans and he brought everything. Literally he brought everything. So right now we're trying to turn a completely empty room into an interview ready setup. We gotta block the windows, we have to figure out how to block this skylight, we've gotta figure out the audio, we've gotta figure out what focal length we're gonna shoot it at, we're gonna figure out how to make the audio sound decent and basically we have to kind of set dress it because all of the instruments and flight cases and all those things were taken to set up into the venue where uh, the guys are performing live tomorrow night. And we have uh, two hours until Tom gets here to shoot his first. Hey, uh, Ben. Yo. You brought a lot of stuff with you. Uh, just, you know, camera and some lights. How long did that take you? It took a few hours. It took about a solid hour. It drug my wife along to help. <laughs> really? What do we got here? Give me a little tour. What's going on? So we've got three, four different lights. The 600D, 300D, 120D, Atlas lenses, dual monitors since we're doing two camera interviews. The red here, Max is red. This is like my little kind of grip bag accessories, tennis balls. So you, like if you go into someone's house, you don't want to scrape up their floors, put this on the bottom or to protect people's eyes because like the boom arms extending. You know, that's kind of like my run and gun setup and then a bunch of C-stands in the car. This room was stacked full of guitars and keyboards and everything the guys needed to use to rehearse for tomorrow night's show and the tour that's coming up. So all of that's been taken out. Now we are setting up all of this stuff to make it look epic. So there's really nothing in this, nothing in this, nothing in these, nothing in this. This looks like an old broken amp that someone went to town on, maybe during a live show. And Max, we think we're gonna throw all that stuff in the background. We'll make a little case jungle back there. Max, what is this app? It's called Artemis Pro. You put in your camera, swipe between uh, different lenses, get a little preview, save time. It's all about saving time. Currently putting the flight cases in the background. Got this keyboard over here. David used to play flight case. Turned that one, so <laughs> so it's just this angle. So we got 600D bouncing through diffusion, flagged off. Look how nice and soft this light is. Now it's gonna be more like one side than the other. Look at that. Beautiful. Good job, Ben. Does the hat look all right? Okay. Oh, we got it out of the way. Something's not right here. Uh, I gotta try not to get emotional. That's just not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know how to answer those ones. To camera, to you, to, okay, cool, great. Yeah. Boom, boom. How bad do you think it is though, Peter? <laughs> that was like a bad clap. 
little bit of haze, a little spot. You got a bounce happening with an Aperture 600D here through some diffusion, doubled up the roll. Moving blankets from Lowe's, down on the ground, behind the boys filming right now. A couple flight cases for set deck, short for set decoration. Here's your interview setup for the master interviews for Angels and Airways. Any questions? Uh, finally getting the first interview done felt amazing. We had some kind of fast interviews that we did about a year and a half ago at this point, which were never intended to be part of the film. They were just spacers, fillers. We had 15 minutes, so we kind of just snuck them in there. None of this, exactly 0% of this could have happened without uh, Jeff Pereira. What a blessing that guy is. From, from literally getting us on tour, onto the bus, making the project happen, keeping it alive, keeping the dream alive. Can I get a quick hug from Jeff? So you guys can kind of put a, a yeah. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> that guy. And there's a lot of people that were integral to, to making that happen. So to finally have it in the bag feels, honestly, I just feel lighter. I might even say I feel happier because now it feels real. We've got material to mold into a documentary. <laughs> <laughs>